Pat, today's a special day. Yeah, it is. It was just announced by the MCLA that the Flames will head to Nationals for the first time in school history. How big of an accomplishment is that for the Flames? That's a huge accomplishment for the Flames and a couple reasons, obviously. Yeah, I think going into it, it was just excitement. Uh, I know the guys were just excited to kind of get a seat at the table and um, give our program an opportunity to showcase itself. And I think the message that we wanted to communicate to the guys is that we can't be content with just getting there. Obviously, losing at SELCs was, uh, was a bit of a bummer that wasn't really in our plan, but I think everyone's really excited just to get to Utah and to be able to show teams what we can do. I think um, we got put in as the nine seed, and I think that having us right in the middle of the pack will give us a chance to be able to do something with it. Everybody was really excited when we got here at midnight. Um, I, probably most of the team hadn't gone to sleep. I know I had myself just because I didn't trust myself to wake up. That first, that bus ride to Charlotte, it was fun. Everybody still had a lot of energy. Um, the, the first flight, everybody was still kind of riding that high of energy. And then that layover in Dallas, I think that's when everybody's energy really, really took a, took a nose dive. But once we were, once we got done with that layover, everybody, everybody slept on the plane. Everybody kind of saw, saw the mountains as we were flying in Salt Lake and everybody was just excited to be there and uh, ready to start playing some lacrosse. Let's go, bring it in. Okay, we're going to try to keep things a little bit light, okay? So um, if we need 100% from you, we will tell you, okay? We just need to get warm, start moving the bodies a little bit. Um, we'll probably scale things back a little bit on the, uh, the more contact stuff. I think from a, from a coach's perspective, you're not really gaining anything from the practice in terms of X's and O's. We weren't really going in and throwing a whole lot of information at them. For us, it was just about getting there, getting out on the field, so that when they came back the next time, it seemed somewhat familiar to them. I think we weren't really overwhelmed. We were just enjoying the view. Uh, playing with mountains is a great view. We had it last year in Colorado. Uh, just gorgeous. Uh, guys were really enjoying themselves. Everybody felt really loose. It didn't seem like we were really stressed out. Uh, and We knew what we were there to do. It's been a little bit of a rough year just in terms of keeping your head strong. Um, both Ryan and I, we can go in week to week not knowing who's going to get the start, but um, a lot of the times Ryan had the upper hand and you're going to play the better goalie. And uh, those two weeks going into Nationals, I was really just, I was really focused on lacrosse. And going into Nationals, I, we didn't, we still didn't really know who was going to get the start when we got out there. We were just both ready to go, ready to play. and. Um, I was lucky enough to get the start, so I was I was really really happy. And I have great trust in both him and Ryan. Uh, they each have their own particular skill set. We've seen Ryan a lot this year, uh, so we were a little more adjusted to his. But Braden, being a junior with myself, uh, I've played with him for three years. I know how he thinks, I know how he plays, and they're both great goalies. So it was a seamless switch, um, whether it was in game or in this case, we knew going into the game. Going into the first round in Salt Lake, it was, um, I don't think there was a lot of nerves for the team. We had prepared for Concordia pretty well, I think. We were watching film for the, the two weeks. And we knew that they had two losses to Chapman, but those losses, they were one or two goal games. So they are obviously a good team. The guys came in with the right mentality and it was that, it was just as much our game to lose as theirs, being a nine seed and Concordia being an eight. So. Uh, I guess by definition, we were the underdog, but we didn't really feel that way. I, I don't think I would classified as an upset, but uh, I, I think we were expected to lose that game. We went into that game, we were confident that we knew everything that they were going to throw at us, and we came out strong. We were winning ground balls, uh, we were, defense was getting stops, offense was putting the ball in the net, and everything was just rolling. We had uh, multiple quarters where we only let in one goal, which is uh, a great achievement defensively. Bring that, you know, heck of good saves early in the game, which is what we needed. Following the Concordia game, I was really excited. We were riding a high of of having that win. We, we had that for about five minutes until everybody realized that 
we'd have Chapman tomorrow, the number one team in the country, and everybody switched to trying to get prepared for Chapman and kind of understand what we were getting ourselves into and how everybody would need to play if we really wanted to really wanted to make a run at nationals. My perspective was that that's the team I wanted to play. Um, not often, and for us, we, we hadn't made a national tournament for um, years before this, so getting an opportunity to get a shot at the number one team in the country um, was, in my mind, all we could ask for. Going into the Chapman game, everybody on the team kind of had this idea that these West Coast teams, that they were just bigger, better, better teams than, than the East Coast teams, and I guess idea of Chapman, I think scared a couple people, but at the same time motivated a couple more people realizing that we really had to step up and we had to show the West Coast what we can do. Good game. I think that first quarter we had a lot of nerves um, and the wheels kind of fell off the bus in the second quarter. Uh, they, they got up on a 6 nothing. Caleb did a great job on the uh, offense scoring two quick goals to go into halftime 6-4. Uh, that game, it took a lot out of us. Um, it's a long game, it's a hard fought game. They were coming at us, we were going at them the entire time. But I think um, just the fact that we were able to, even with less than a minute left, down by two goals and able to come back and tied up with six seconds left. I think it just shows that we just, we're not giving up. It's unfortunate that we lost. It's, it stinks, it hurts a little bit, but it gave everybody a pretty good perspective that the West Coast teams are really not, they're not what we thought they were, and that we really are gonna be a solid team in the years to come. If we get a couple more players, um, we're going to fill some roles on our team that we really need. And lastly, we got to talk about the hike. Oh boy, <laughs> come on. <laughs> In your own words, how great was the hike? How great was the hike? I wouldn't start by saying great isn't the word that I use to describe it. <laughs> For us, um, I would be remiss if we didn't spend the time and the energy that went into this season and the accomplishment of making nationals uh, and getting out to Salt Lake City and, and not trying to enjoy some of, some of what Salt Lake City has to offer. So as, as soon as we knew our season was over, um, we wanted to take advantage of being in Salt Lake City and I think the guys, uh, there's quite a few of them that had never been there before and probably a lot of them that will never be there again. I didn't know anything. I was asking Kyle, how long is this? Like, I have homework to do, what's going on? And he said it was a mile and a half up, mile and a half down. So I'm three miles, whatever, I'm with the guys, we'll be fine, I'm in Utah. Three and a half miles in the wrong direction later, we're still in the middle of nowhere. I'm not on a mountain, I'm between two of them, and I'm walking in the snow up to my knees in my sneakers. It was a little defeating, but uh, like I said, just a bite your tongue moment. And walk back down the hill, look on the bright side, got a good suntan from it. The hike, in my mind, is you will get a lot of opinions and reactions from a lot of our guys, some positive, some negative. Uh, I think if you ask them in 10 years, if it's something that they're glad they're, they did, um, I don't let a lot of that negative criticism hit me too hard because uh, in the, at the end of the day, I feel like uh, we're doing a service for them, so. I think the end goal for every team is really win a national championship, um, especially next year for us. I know it'll be my senior year, um, so it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of focus on knowing that we can get the nationals because we've already proved that, but once we get there, winning it. I just need to be consistent in my uh, confirmation that God is in control. Uh, he's got the big picture. Um, and. Although lacrosse is important to me, so I know it's important to God, ultimately he's got a bigger purpose and a bigger plan that is much greater than us winning or losing some lacrosse games. But uh, I do think that 
our guys did our best in terms of trying to honor him and, and as a coaching staff and me personally just need to just trust the process but it's God's process that uh, we need to rely on.